Hello my friendly shoppers and welcome back. This is Gina and this is my shopping life. I hope you're having a great day so far because we're back at Trader Joe's. Now all the plants are inside because it is warm outside so they want them to stay cool. So many pretty ones. I really like this area. Now I am back at the new location in Marietta, California. This store is so spacious. I just love it. Some of the Trader Joe's are small, a little tight, but this one, it's just, you know, you could dance in the aisles if you wanted to. And I really do like it. So we're going to go over, we're just going to kind of go through and check it out. And again, the flowers just look so pretty. The flowers and the plants. These are so nice. And these, honestly, they make great gifts. Whenever I've seen a friend, if I haven't seen them for a while, I always stop by Trader Joe's and pick up something. Oh, that one reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. The mini rose for $5. How pretty is the cactus? The blooming cactus for $5. This store has probably one of the best selection of succulents. That's the most I've ever seen at a Trader Joe's. Even the flowers, they really have a great selection of flowers, $6.99 or $10. Those are so pretty. I am going to pick up some new roses. The roses are looking great this week. $10 for a dozen. Oh, I love the purple ones. They're all really pretty. Oh, the yellow with the red. Honestly, how do you pick just one? Back here. Those look almost silver. Oh, these are just so gorgeous. All right, the avocados. What a great selection. I like that you have options. So if you're wanting more than one, you have that option. If you just need one, and then you get to pick which one you want. They are a little pricey, but they're worth it. Ooh, organic, uncured, grass-fed, hot dogs for $5.99 or just the uncured beef hot dogs for $4. So you have some options. I like that there's only like six in a package. I don't eat that many hot dogs, but I am definitely going to pick these up. And of course, with my hot dogs, I always love sauerkraut. So I'm definitely going to pick up some sauerkraut. $4.50. Ooh, the pickles look good. And over here, the pool chicken chili verde. Oh, that sounds really good. $9. Oh, I've never seen this before. Sliced black truffle Monterey Jack cheese. That sounds really good. $5 per package. Now, a while back, I did pick this one up. The sliced basil and garlic Monterey Jack cheese. That one is good. $5. Now, of course, if you are vegetarian or vegan, we have the Italian sausage and the smart dogs. Both of them are vegan. The yellow mini watermelons have returned. These are so pretty. $4. I only see them about once a year and they sell out really fast at Trader Joe's. Look how great the fruit selection looks. So if you're wanting to have fruit and you want it already sliced up, you have options. Cantaloupe, the pineapple, the watermelon, the mango. So if you don't like slicing up fruit, you could buy it already taken care of for you. All you have to do is just pop the top off and you could eat it right away. Mango. Oh, I love mango. I'm actually going to pick one up. These look really good. And then, of course, if you want a variety, they have that too. But some really good options here. Now, I do need some pineapple juice, $3.99. And their sparkling waters, they really have a good selection. Ooh, watermelon lemonade. That sounds really good. Ooh, Fruz balls. Okay, those are two dollars. I've tried those before. They're not for me, but I know a lot of people who do like them. Actually, I just want one. The pineapple. <laughs> 
They really do have some good selections. Now these are new peanut butter pillows. Okay, peanut butter and a hard candy shell for $3. Now I do like these, the milk chocolate covered, the peanut butter pretzels or the dark chocolate almond butter pretzels. Both of those are really good. Now I do want to get some more of the soup dumplings. I like the variety. You have chicken, pork and ginger, or the vegetable. The vegetable looks like it's the most popular, but I had the pork and ginger. I want to try the chicken. Those look really good. Now the price is about $3.50 to $4. Oh, the kimbap. These are really good. All I have to do is just heat them up. I'm glad that they have a lot of them. Oh, we also have the Korean style, the beef short ribs. Those sound good. So the short ribs are $14 and the kimbap is about $4. Now the raspberry stars, those are really good. Shortbread cookie with the raspberry, $6. And then right next to them, we have the lemon flour cookies. Those are really good. And those boxes have a lot of cookies. Those are $6 as well. Now we have something new. Peach Raspberry Crisp. Oh, that sounds really good. Peaches and raspberry. That's a great combination. Looks like a little cobbler to me. <laughs> I'm definitely going to pick that one up and try it out. I love desserts like this. Six dollars. So I have my cart over here. And they're frozen as well. Now, if you're ever wanting to try any of these, they're about two dollars each. I don't think I've tried the pineapple. I'm gonna pick this one up. I've had the cherry. That one is really tart. Of course, the ginger. You also have the turmeric. But they're good. I like them. If you're feeling just a little bit down, those really help pick you up. Now, the ube mochi. Oh, I haven't seen this one. I was kind of hoping to find the mango mochi, but I'm not seeing it. They still have a great selection. And the prices, they're about $5 each. And the s'more bars, those are good. Even the lemon bars, those are good as well. Those are about $5 each. Oh, now we've tried the dark chocolate orange sticks. And of course, the dark chocolate watermelon sticks. But I haven't seen the dark chocolate pineapple sticks. Oh, those are new. Those are about $3.70. They have a lot. Those sound really good. Of course, bring them into your house right away. Don't let those sit in your car. <laughs> now, these are really good. So we have the berry lemonade and they're sparkling as well. We have the lemonade or the pink lemonade, the limeade, $3.70. Now the limeade is my husband's favorite, but honestly, all three of them are really good. Here's another item. If you're feeling a little down, these are really good. Those are not in the refrigerator. They're $2 and even the honey throat spray for $9. Oh, here's something else that's new. Strawberry lemon. Ooh, strawberry lemonade. Pardon me. Ice bars. Now, those are perfect, especially for the summertime. Cool you off. And I'm not finding a price. So we're going to say they're probably about $4 a box. But they have some really good cold treats. Especially if you're looking for a cold treat to beat the heat. Okay. Our ice cream. Oh, the horchata ice cream has returned. We have our super strawberry sorbet. 
The chocolate coconut is really good. The celebration cake gelato. Oh, there's ube right back over there. Then you have your oat ice cream. Those are about $4 each. Now the gelato, I am stocking up on the gelato, but I'm gonna share something what I make with the gelato. I'm gonna share it at the end of the video today. But honestly, the Trader Joe's ice creams, they do such a good job, the ice cream and the sorbet. Okay, so go with my gelato. The espresso pods, $4 for a box of 10. The espresso pods could get pricey, and the ones here at Trader Joe's, these are good. I'm gonna grab a few of them. Oh, this is new. Rainbows in the Trail Mix Bars. Those are about $5. And the Peony Blossom Scented Candle for $4. They do have a recall on the Mango Tangerine Scented Candle. So if you have one of those, you definitely wanna return it to Trader Joe's. And of course, I always love to check out the cheese. Oh, for $10. I really like the size of the champagne bottle. It's a little mini one. But it's perfect placement. Oh, this sounds really good. Now, some of them are sold per item, per pound. This one is definitely per pound, so about $5.30. My husband told me I was good on cheese, so I'm not supposed to pick up any cheese. <laughs> you should see my cheese drawer. It is full. But I always like having different cheeses on hand. That's also sold per item, actually. Not per pound. No, no, I'm wrong. Per pound. There it is. Let me. They always have this so pretty. Now I'm gonna go over here and check out the new products, see what they have. Some of these we saw last week. Now last week we did pick up the peanut butter with honey. It's a hit, my husband loves it, it's $3. Oh, these are new, unfortunately no price. The pizza seasoned crackers. Those sound interesting. Okay, here's my little mini haul. I didn't get too much this week. I got a lot last week. Of course, we're gonna take this home, but we're gonna try a couple of items. Now, I talked about the gelato, of course. You know what I'm making. You must know what I'm making right now, the affogato. It is so good. Now, I have my little coffee maker. So we're just gonna place that right in. And these are how they look. Just kind of pop them right in. So on the intense level, because when you see the pods, you'll see there's different intense levels. Uh, these are at a nine, but look how gorgeous the gelato looks. It's my favorite part of scooping it out. It's so pretty, it's so good. I have my coffee brewing. I'm actually gonna do a double. I need a little extra coffee today. And let me grab my spoon. Oh, it looks perfect. And it's gonna chill the coffee down and it's so good. It's a perfect sweet treat. Coffee and ice cream, perfect. Or a coffee and gelato. Now, we're gonna try the peach raspberry crisp. So again, it reminds me of a cobbler and I love cobbler. All right, we're gonna warm it up. So of course you're gonna remove the plastic around it and you could cook it in the tray that it comes in. So really easy, you can kind of see the size. So I would say probably about three to four servings that you could get with it. With me, maybe about two servings. <laughs> but I'm kind of curious how sweet it is. All right, it says four servings per container, okay. Good to know. So after 15 minutes, it's all ready. I'm just gonna scoop a little out. It smells great. 
Now you can have some ice cream on top of it, but I just had my dairy, so we're just gonna have it as is. Let's see, do I just scoop it? You use a spoon or a fork? I'm just gonna use a spoon. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. <laughs> I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna have to use my left hand on this one. All right, after a few bites, I, I really liked it. It's not super sweet. It's actually not sweet at all. Of course, you're getting the sweetness from the fruit, but I really enjoyed it. So if you're looking for a dessert, but not as sweet, Definitely give this one a try, especially if you do like cobbler and crisp. This is a really good one. Well, everyone, thank you so much for coming along to Trader Joe's with me today. Thank you again for your support and for watching. Take care and I will talk to you later.